All right. All right. We have a number of a couple of great presenters for you today. And starting off, we'll begin with Mr. Anthony Tran, who will share a unique opportunity to learn about Shades of Lavender Farm. Anthony, take it away. All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I am Anthony Tran. I am the new owner of Shades of Lavender Farm as of May. Uh, the business here has been growing lavender for the last six years and open to the public for the last four years. Uh, I am a veteran. I served in the U.S. Army Reserve uh, for eight years in the uh, 2001 uh, to 2009. Uh, I did a tour of duty in Afghanistan as a automated logistical specialist and a unit armorer. I was deployed to a small forward logistical element just outside Mazari Sharif, Afghanistan, shortly after uh, we entered the country. Um, it was pretty interesting. We, we, we like to think our, we were like cowboys out there. <laughs> we had trucks and tents and, and not, not a whole lot. Um, you know, I was a young man at 21 and uh, I spent most of my days delivering supplies, repairing weapons, and uh, securing an airfield for midnight drops. Uh, it was 360 days of time overseas, and then uh, I came back home. Returning home in my life after the military was a bit difficult. I struggled with readjustment. I worked several uh, odd jobs in construction, maintenance. Uh, I worked for a few cities. I just couldn't quite figure out uh, where I belonged. Uh, the only place I felt at peace or comfort was in my own garden. And I spent um, years in my backyard, in my garden, um, planting and learning and just trying to find myself. <laughs> and uh, as we know, the last year has been very difficult and uh, it caused me to have to rethink my life, uh, realign my goals, um, readjust myself to the world and it's changing. I had spent a considerable time home with my children and decided that I wanted nothing more to do with uh, the corporate life and the world with Zoom meetings and spreadsheets and PowerPoint presentations. Yet I find myself here, <laughs> again, working with the tools of today uh, to achieve uh, the goals that people have been trying for uh, their whole life. Um, I'm a farmer. <laughs> uh, Shades of Lavender, um, the business model is very simple. The uh, original founders had planted lavender on their property. Uh, it's 10.4 acres of land to include four acres of wooded forest. It has a uh, fully uh, stocked shop with licensed kitchen. Uh, and we make our own uh, handcrafted goods here from the lavender that's grown. Uh, the business itself started off as a, an idea for the, uh, the owners for something to do with their land. And it grew so large that um, they decided it wasn't quite what they wanted to do. So here I am with Shades of Lavender. Uh, the last six weeks, uh, as I've come in here, I like to say, like in, in uh, the military, I hit the ground running. Uh, boots on the ground coming in hot. Uh, immediately after I closed upon the property, we had spent four weeks uh, cleaning it. It had sat dormant for about three months in the spring uh, due to sales. And uh, we had to spend every day and night weeding those fields and cleaning the forest. Um, I have cleaned the fields. Our fields are in bloom. They are ready to go. Uh, my biggest struggle uh, in these last few weeks was our supplies. Resupplying the store uh, with our glassware, our containers, which are made of plastic, uh, our candles, which are made of wax. And as we know in this economy, uh, the price of everything has gone up along with shipping and lead time. Uh, so we've had to come up with some creative solutions to meet the demands of our customers. And our customers do have demands. Uh, even though I, it is my first year as a business, the business has been in operation for five years now. Uh, I signed my closing documents and the closing agent followed me back to the house to purchase our candles before I even had my register up. Um, and even so, we spent all night making products uh, just for them to sell out in the morning for another night of production. I am overwhelmed with responsibility here. 
um, from the land, from the business, uh, from the community. And my goal here is to become a part of the community and uh, help out as much as possible, providing the service of this land that we have. Uh, we have uh, yoga coming today in the field. Uh, we have uh, teachers uh, off for the summer that are teaching classes here on our property. Um, along with that, uh, we have uh, tours. I've been giving tours of the property and the land and access to photographers in the local community. Currently, I'm struggling with what I like to call the invisible structures. Uh, these are the accounting, uh, the licensing. Um, as, a, as a veteran and a new uh, small business owner and a farm owner, I know that there are opportunities out there, grants out there, programs out there that I can sign up for, I can apply for, and use those resources to expand my business uh, and provide a little bit more support here. Um, I'm spending all of my hours uh, either in the shop or in the field, uh, but that'll slow down once our harvest season is, is done, uh, which brings me to the next phase. The founders had set this up as a bit of a part-time summer job. Uh, it wasn't their full time, but for me, it is. Um, I'm looking for ways to expand the property. We have a field of sunflowers to follow up with our lavender crop. Uh, I've also started to plan out plots for mushroom plots within our forest. I have about 200 pounds of mushroom spawn, uh, exotic culinary mushrooms and medicinal mushrooms from lion's mane, reishi, shiitake, and several uh, oysters that should be able to extend our season uh, into the fall and give us a jump start in the uh, spring. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I guess at that point, uh, maybe I'll just open up for a question and an answer, uh, go from there if I've left anything out. Um, how's that? That sounds great, Anthony. Okay. From there, we're going to turn things over to the audience to ask questions, maybe share some insights as well. So I'm going to turn off the recording.